Happy trails, Mush. So, I got something interesting to show you today. This is called the Appy Trails Mark V. Now, it's a tarp tent. It's just a single layer. It's really tall at the front and really short at the back. Comes with one tiny little pole for the back and then one big pole for the front. Let's put this up, see what we got. So that's going to be quite tall at the front, about six foot tall. Got no idea which way round to do this. I suppose we'll start with the back. So the guy line just sits on top of this. I bought this from eBay, so it needs a bit of repairs here and there. Made as basic as possible. Um, there's no zips on this door. It's just Velcro. It's got to be said, that is a very unusual thing. Okay, we're up at last. Right. There it is. So this is a tarp tent. Now, when I saw it, I thought, what the heck is that thing? It's actually got standing room at the front and towards the back, it's just lying down room. So I thought this will be ideal. We could just sit in the front here, keep in dry, and then tuck towards the back at the end of the night. Um, yes, it does say five man, but Probably good for two. I'm already wondering if I could modify it into a hot tent. Cut the slot somewhere up the top and have your chimney going out. Put your wood burner in the, in the center there. Really roomy inside. I think this needs more than one guy line at the front. I'm probably gonna modify that. Actually, it's just hanging on by a thread, this is, so... So the guy lines are very basic. They could do with upgrading. Pole is a little wobbly. <laughs> I mean, I think this has been well used. You get tons of space. Um, let's have a look. It's... Even towards the back, you can sort of sit down. And open that vent. It's covered in mesh. The same at the front. Two mesh panels up there. So even though it's a tarp tent, it should keep up the worst of the bugs. It'd be nice to see something holding this open. 
but you would get some ventilation through there. So there it is, there's a huge thing. I think this back bit is quite clever. But if it's boggy ground, that's just gonna sink in. You could put a rock or something underneath it to stop that. So this one's called the Appy Trails Mark V. It's quite the budget model, um, $130 I think they sell for. You can still buy them now, I'll put the link in the description. I like the name of it, sort of uh, sounds like a chav saying goodbye. Happy trails, Mush! <laughs> so I think this will probably be best in the winter, when there's very little bugs around. You could easily put a picnic blanket on the floor. You could still use it in the summer, but what I would recommend is putting some sort of bug net inside. So I think you're going to have um, stuff crawling underneath, at least. But yeah, I quite like it. The top says it's material 185T polyester. All the seams are sealed, they're taped underneath. I think it should be plenty waterproof in here. So yeah, if you just um, want to go back to basics, but you can't be bothered with you know, trying to set it up against a tree or something, this is ideal. And the weight is really low. The tarp itself is 700 grams. The poles are about, I think it was 270 for the poles. So you're looking less than a kilogram. And enough room for, well, three people to sleep in there. And sit in area at the front for when it's raining. So thanks for checking out that review. I'll be camping out in this thing soon, so I'll come back for that. 